here we go. Rice Krispie Treats covered in candy cane. This Christmas, the fireside is blazing bright. Hey fam, happy Vlogmas day 23. Oh my God, Santa's coming soon. Santa, I know him, I know him. Elf, right? All right, we're gonna make Rice Krispie treats. There is no organic version. We are gonna kick it old school. We have some Rice Krispies. We've got two bags of Jet Puff marshmallows that Cheyenne brought, and we're gonna crush candy canes because Who's gonna eat all those candy canes on that tree, right? We gotta make good use of them. So they're gonna go in the Rice Krispie Treats. Earlier, I was working on some brown sugar, which I'll insert here. All right, ladies, so I cut the organic light brown sugar out of this bag, and you can see it's a big block, which is why I cut it out. I'm going to put it in the oven. Um. We're heating up, we're preheating the oven now. It's at 100. I'm gonna preheat to 350. When it beeps, I will put that in and leave it in for 30 minutes and see if we can use that for our gingerbread cookies. All right, the oven has reached 350. We're gonna take our brown sugar and put it in there. We'll start with the 30 minute timer and see how that goes. This has been in a little closer to an hour. I just got back. I will play with it in a second, but it, it's too hot to touch right now. Um, I did buy some backup brown sugar just in case. Oh, look at that. I thought it was burned. It's soft. That worked. That worked. It was in there closer to an hour. I meant to do it for 30 minutes, so maybe next time don't, if you do it at home, don't do it so long. You can see my outside kind of crusted where it started to cook, melt. But yeah, it's all nice and soft. That other piece was so hard. Yay! And I have backup, so that means we get more gingerbread cookies. Yay! <laughs> and it came out just fine. However, what I learned is, you have to use it right away. So there it is. It's back in the oven because it got hard again. So I'm gonna prep the gingerbread mix also tonight. I don't know that I'm gonna roll them all out. Cheyenne's gotta go to bed, she's gotta go to work early. I'm gonna try to convince her to help me roll them out tomorrow. Unless the feeling just hits me and then of course I will probably roll them out tonight and at least get them cooked and then she can help me ice them. And the morning we have groceries coming and we'll start on sweet potato pies. Tomorrow morning is Christmas Eve. So we've gotta be all prepped for Santa. Cookies have gotta be done. Whipped cream has gotta be done. It's all gotta be done. And so tonight we start with Rice Krispie Treats and gingerbread. Yay! Rice Krispie Treats, three simple ingredients. Marshmallows, butter, Rice Krispies. So you need two cups of marshmallows, which is I wasn't sure it's the bag, the little bag that I have, which I think is, I don't know how many ounces, but two cups of marshmallows and then four cups of Rice Krispie Treats. So I measured that out and put that in the bowl, just plain old Rice Krispies. You probably could use cocoa pebbles, fruity pebbles, all of those, the same type of thing. Something that's puffy and crunchy and that will taste yummy with marshmallows. All right, so getting those all measured out. And then we need three tablespoons of butter. Everything's better with butter, baby. 
I put in those three tablespoons. I put three nice heaping tablespoons, got that in my pan. Get the fire up nice and high. Gotta get that butter to melt without burning. Okay, so there we go. Just you want the butter to be all melted before you add the marshmallows in. So I just push it around on the heat, scoop out a little bit more to that tablespoon so I make sure I get all my yummy butter in the pan. And then I add some of the marshmallows, not all. Oh, I guess I did put all. <laughs> all two cups in they went. And then I swirl them around. I want to get them to melt. Put my pan over here. I want to get that ready while the marshmallows are melting. Put butter in the bottom of the pan. That makes sure that the mixture doesn't stick to the pan once you pour it in there. Takes a while for the marshmallows to melt. I thought it would be faster, but if you just keep working it, it will eventually melt and you'll have this lovely, fluffy, gooey marshmallow goodness. There we go. They're still holding their shape a little bit, so I keep working it. And then I add a little bit of the Rice Krispies and I see how well it, it incorporates. Is it easy? Is it hard? It seems simple enough. So I add the rest of the Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies to two cups of marshmallows. It was not quite a whole box, the box that you saw earlier. That handle was hot. Oops. So I needed my mitt. But yeah, they're a little dry. So I still have to keep working the mixture, turning it up from the bottom to the top. Then I have my rice, oh, I have my candy canes, I mean, not Rice Krispies. I have my candy canes, I put them in a Ziploc baggie, and I take the little mortar, is it mortar or pestle from the mortar and pestle set? I don't know which is which, but I pound them while they're in the freezer bag so I can get crumbles of candy cane. I keep mixing this, and then I pour it into the pan. It's really fast which is nice and they taste yummy. It's just as long as it takes for everything to melt. So first the butter has to melt, then the marshmallows have to melt, and then you just mix in all the Rice Krispies and you're done. I pour it into our buttered pan. Hi there, peeking. Chef always has to taste <laughs> and it smelled so good. All right, all good. Put that there and then I'm going to sprinkle the candy cane across the top. I didn't use that many. After I finished, I realized I could have used more. It's up to you, however much you want. Then I take a little bit of aluminum foil. I want my top to be nice and flat. And so I take this and press it into the pan and that way my hands don't get sticky or burnt because it's hot still. But that just makes it a nice flat surface. It looks prettier when it's cooled off. So I press that into the pan, everything's nice and flat. I incorporate the candy canes into the top of the Rice Krispie Treat so I know that they're in there nice and tight. So there we go. Those are our uh -oh, hot pot. I put it on the burner where the um, marshmallows were. But here we go. Rice crispy treats covered in candy cane. It's got to set for a little bit. I'll put it on the right side of the oven where the burner was not on. Let it cool off. Then I'll come back and cut it. I don't know if I'll cut it tonight, but I will cut it up and then probably put it in some cute little baggies so people have them to go. I don't know who these people are. Guests, friends, loved ones. I might take some to work, but yeah, there we go. Those are our Christmas Rice crispy treats. There we go, our Christmas Rice Krispie Treats. Yum! Happy Vlogmas, day 23. We'll see you tomorrow in our next Christmas vlog. Good night! This Christmas.
Christmas, the fireside is blazing bright. 